Hello, this video is going to show you how you can use the digital tool unscreened with Google Slides to create a cool background with your students. Have you ever wanted to put your students in a really cool place like uh, the islands or maybe an historical event? Well, you can do that by using the digital tool unscreened. And I'm going to show you in the next couple of steps how you are able to do that. One of the things I did was I took a picture of the student and I made it into a GIF. I used video footage in my phone to have that student wave. And then I emailed my video to myself, as you can see here. So the next thing I'm going to do is now that I have the video, I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to have this option where I can't preview it, but I want to download it. So I'm going to click download. Now, once I've downloaded this video, it is in my files, okay? And now I'm going to go to that unscreen upload version here. Um, this is where I can upload a free clip. And so what I'm going to simply do is I'm going to click upload clip. So then I'm going to pick the image of my choice, going to click open, and it's going to prepare the upload. Once it does that, you'll notice that the picture or the video that I've done of the student waving has taken away the background and all that's left is the student waving. And now with my free clip, I have the option to either share it or to download it. And since I'm going to be putting it in a Google slide and having a background with it, I am going to download it. It's going to start the download and then once it's ready to go, it's going to be in my folder, ready to be inserted in the Google slide. Now what you can do is you can open up a Google slide. Notice I just changed the title of it. And what I'm going to do with this student's uh, transparent background is I'm going to put a background of my choice and then I'm going to insert this student as if they were there. So in order to do that, like I said, I opened up Google Slides. I'm gonna change the layout to be blank. And because I want this to be kind of like a picture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the layout of the Google Slides. It's your choice to keep it in its custom form if you like, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the page layout. So I'm going to File, and then I'm going to go to Page Setup, and instead of this wide screen, I'm going to go to custom and I'm just going to do maybe, um, you know, maybe a four by six and then hit apply. Now my Google slide is in a four by six picture form Then I'm going to be able to put a background on and insert my student. So maybe I would like the student to be in front of Cinderella's castle and wave in front of it. So what I can do here is I'm going to change the background of this Google slide. So I can either right click and go to background or I can go right here to background. And then I'm going to choose an image. Now, from here, if you have something uploaded, you can simply go to your uploads and put it in there. You can search Google images on the web, which are safe searches or if you have photos or anything on your drive. I have something already saved, so I'm gonna to go to my files. I'm gonna to go to my Cinderella's castle, and I'm going to have it as my background. So notice now I have my background as Cinderella's castle, but now I wanna insert that student in front of the castle so they're waving. So since I downloaded this already, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert, images, upload from my computer. I'm going to go to my image here, hit open, and notice she is now in the picture. I can make her smaller, crop it if I need to, and now I've added her to the picture. So if you were presenting this or you know sharing this with somebody, you would hit play. And it looks like the student is in front of the castle. Makes it really cool for those types of fun historical events 
or places that maybe students have never been. You can have a lot of fun with different projects in your class. So that is how I was able to use Google Slides and Unscreened to create this project. I went to Unscreen, took a video of a student, removed the background, and then downloaded it. Then I went to Google Slides, made a background, and uploaded the student to the slides. It's just a really cool way to add a digital tool like Unscreened in your class.